Alright guys, we are back, and this is the Acer Chromebook 13, this is the C810, and I just, just slit this open in another video to explain the Gerber tool, and it's already cut, so this is the Chromebook. 13. This is the Chromebook 810 C810, and I haven't seen any. I haven't heard or seen anything about it. I just happened to see it on, you know, for sale, and I bought it. So here is the charging brick. A Acer got a unique looking charge charger here. Is that the C port? You know what I'm talking about. So. Pretty good charging core, charging brick. Not too bad. A little different. I like this one better than the Hisense one. So here's your setup guide. We all know how to use a Chromebook. So here it is. Here's some more information in international. Now, this is I'm very I'm very shocked to see. There's another Chromebook I'm waiting for that haven't arrived yet. This Chromebook I'm really looking forward to. So let's take a look at this together. And there we go. Acer Chromebook 13 C810. Not bad. It's not grippy at all. This is plastic. It's a smooth, very smooth finish. Not feeling too slippery. What's good is that the bottom, the bottom has a grip. The bottom have a grip very similar to the last Chromebook I unboxed, the Hisense. The bottom is very good. Now the top is a little slippery. I already like, I love black laptops, black phones, but mostly laptops, I like it in black. So, let me see if I can do this with one finger. No, I can't. You still got to hold it down because it's a light device. And the hinge, the hinge on this Acer is tight. It's a tight hinge. So, very tight hinge. Let's take a look. Nice. Now it's already telling you this is powered by the Invi Nvidia Tegra K1. This is a nice Chromebook. So I, a lot of people have a white version of the 13 inch Acer. This is the 13 inch in black and it looks good. It really looks good. Everything is that smooth plastic. So it's the same plastic all around as the top, that same smoothness. But it's a really good looking device. This, it says right here, it has a 13 hour battery life. Three, three, sorry, 3.0 ports, two of them. Um, fast boot up time, we all know Chromebooks have fast boot up time. Free apps available up to three times. So it has that C910, it has that Wi-Fi that grabs it real fast and uh, very go, you know, very much goes fast. You have a hundred uh, gigabytes of Google Drive. I have enough Google Drive storage to last me. Um, virus protection. So you have virus protection on this. What do they mean by that? I don't know. Because Chromebooks got their own little virus thing going on. So you don't have to worry about viruses at all. I don't think there's anything extra in here. So I don't think it's going to boot up. Probably got to plug it in first. So let's do that. All right. So plugging this in right there. This thing should boot up. There we go. And this, I believe it's a matte screen, if I'm not mistaken. Matte screen. Um, I believe it's 720p. I don't think it's a 1080p screen. But it looks good. 
It looks good. I think I got it with four gigs of RAM. I'm not 100% sure. All right, so this is a Tegra K1 NVIDIA 4 Plus 1 quad core ARM Cortex A15 processor running at 2.1 gigahertz. This has four gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes of, you know, the solid state drive, 13.3 inch screen, and it's not 1080p, but I will, I will see how it goes, man. I will really see how it goes and stuff like that. But so far, I'm really liking the look. I like the look of it. It's all black. I gotta test out the screen. But let me log in to my network and see what's going on with this Chromebook. So I'm logged into my network. Terms and conditions, yes. And I'm feeling it. I love all black. I like the way the black looks. Um, the trackpad. The trackpad is smooth like the Asus C300. Now, this is charged up. The Asus C300 has this same type of trackpad. It's really smooth and I'm going to enjoy it. So, I like, I need a good trackpad with a Chromebook. So, while I'm putting in my uh, Gmail, I could get a quick feel on how this trackpad is. And so far, yeah, I'm a one one finger typer. So far, it feels it feels really good. So far, it feels really good. It's really good. Feels feels good. Feels like feels like. Any other uh, Chrome keyboard. I thought speakers would be on the side. I thought it would be a mini version of the 910, but it's not. Let me crank up this brightness. Not bad. The screen looks like a matte screen. Viewing angles. I'm, I'm looking from up top. Let me look straight on. Viewing angles. To the sides, viewing angles okay. Top and bottom, you can see it's an issue. But the screen looked pretty good. I gotta let the apps uh, come up. Let's take a uh, let's take a look around the device. So you have a big card slot there, big card slot. So I don't know what memory type card it takes, but that's a big card slot. USB 3, you can see right there the blue, so that means USB 3. And you have your headphone jack right there where you power up, and I believe that's the lock. And in the back, okay, in the back, you have the HDMI port and another the USB 3. So that's cool. So my apps are jumping in. Now this, <laughs> I love it. I love, I just love the way the app drawer comes up right here. I just, I don't know. There's something about it I just like. You know, so the apps are probably jumping in. Um, regular Google apps that's coming in. Plus my apps. And I don't know if it's done yet. But it sure looks like it is. So. Good looking Chromebook. NVIDIA uh, Tegra K1. Looking forward to uh, using this. I think the Tegras are more for gaming. It's a nice looking Chromebook. You can see the more apps has jumped in. As we've been talking here. So. Um, not bad at all. Gonna get. It's going to get the updates, but I'm going to enjoy it right now because I like that drawer coming up at the side. Um, it's a nice size, nice weight to it. Um, it's about the same weight as the Samsung Chromebook 2. It's not that light, but 
it's not that heavy either considering it's a 13 inch it's all right it's all right 286 dollars or something to that effect and it's not bad it's a chromebook almost budget and i think i favor the, the 13 inch more than the 11 even though i do need an 11 inch screen but doing the work on it was a little hard because of the smaller screen real estate so i'm probably going to enjoy this a little bit more and maybe this might be my everyday you know chromebook that goes out there in the street that we i hang out with than walking around with my pixel so not bad looking forward to uh checking out the screen so far the screen looks okay so far the trackpad i like the trackpad i like the keyboard i like that the fact it's black that's what i like so look forward to more videos and um i'm just waiting still waiting bnh photo bnh photo i need my chromebook man i need my chromebook you guys are holding me back so with that guys see you guys in the next one